Hi, my name is Chris Noble. I'm an independent IT consultant and I'm here to talk about some problems you may have with wireless internet. Traditionally, when connecting to a network or to the internet, security was not a great concern because you could choose who would connect to your network because they'd have to plug a cable in to your router. With wireless internet access, things have changed somewhat. There are no cables, so you don't necessarily get to choose who has access to your network. An important thing to bear in mind when configuring your wireless network is the security features you'll, you're going to choose. If you leave the security open without any passwords at all and with your network name or SSID view, viewable to everybody, then you can have unexpected people joining your network and stealing the bandwidth, which basically means your internet connection will get slow. Uh, not only that, there's a risk that you can have hackers or people that you don't want on your network accessing your information as it flies around unencrypted between your computer and your router. One problem that many people have with setting up wireless networks is not being able to consistently connect to a network or having problems connecting to that network on a sporadic basis. Wireless networks use what's called channels to uh, choose different frequencies on which to connect. Often if there's many wireless networks in your area, they can all often be using the same channels. For instance, some network providers like D-Link, I believe, have their default channel as channel 10. If you have lots of D-Link routers in your area, there may be lots of D-Link routers using channel 10. If you're having difficulty, it's best to change the channel. You can try channel 3, 6 or 9 of the typical ones that other people try. I'm Chris Noble. Thanks for watching this video about wireless internet problems.